Hey guys, Luke the Drifter here in the backyard and we've got the little 15 Stockton van I'm going to give you a look through. So, um, yeah, look, if you had asked me 10 months ago, 12 months ago, would you see me in a caravan? I'd say, absolutely. I was even saying to myself, you'll never see me in a caravan ever, you know. But, because I've just done the canning and I've got the truck all set up, rooftop tent. But, you know, things change in life and, um, you know, I would never, if you had asked me four years ago would I be importing products under Drifter Stockton brand I'd say no I wouldn't be doing that either you know but things change in life and you know you got to take opportunities when they come and etc but you know I mean when I started Drifter 20 years ago when Kaida was a little baby you know I was um, well before that I was over in, in um, Port Hedland and I was roofing and uh, during the summer in Port Hedland I was a roof carpenter you know so it was 50 degrees about three o'clock and we were doing the summer, we were doing hardwood trusses, steel frames during summer. It was horrendous work, you know, but I didn't, I, I didn't mind that. And, um, and I come back to Blaney and uh, I was working through the winter here and it was, in Blaney it was shockingly cold. It was two degrees and I was, again, doing frames and trusses and in the ice. I hated, hated it, you know. And I started building these little camping kitchens, you know, in my garage. And I used to love it. I just, it's all I wanted to do. I thought it was brilliant because I was in a little shed, double garage. I was out of the sun. I was in a, you know, had a roof over my head, and um, in during the winter time, I could put the heater on. I had a little gas furnace, you know. So I was just in luxury in, in a shed, you know, building little kitchens. I was loving it, and I thought that's all I ever want to do, you know. Um, but you know, I mean, if I just had a stay doing that, it would have been great. But things change. And mostly what changes as well is what, what it di is dictated by the customers, which is yourselves watching, you know. I just couldn't make enough kitchens uh, myself for what people wanted. So, all right, I got a little factory and put a staff on and got a bit bigger factory, put another staff on and then I moved to Gloucester and here we are, you know. Um, 20 years later, 150 staff and uh, it's full on. But the point is things change in life and um, I was you know, given a really amazing opportunity, very blessed, and we've got a little, little bub turned up. She's uh, two, two weeks old now. So that's what changed for me uh, straight away. We're not gonna be able to climb up and down the rooftop tent, you know. Um, that was great for just me and Darren. Come over here, Darren. So, you know, we, we basically, and the same as anyone, if you've got two people, you've got a perfect little setup. As soon as you have a baby, it's, it's just not gonna work. So, hold a sec, I'll mm -hmm. show a little bit. Mm. So this is little Bub, this little Isa, and she's two weeks old, and she's what's changed everything for us. You know, I've been very blessed to have an, an, another chance. Being a dad, you know, ironic because Tito, he's 22. He's just left. He's working for King Cab, King King Cab Customs in in Brisbane. I think now fabricating, doing what he loves doing. So he's gone, and Isa turned up. So that's what got me looking to like, what are we going to do now? You know, we want to keep camping, we want to keep travelling, but. We can't do it with this setup, you know. So started looking into caravans. I have have a really good mate of mine who put me onto these guys, and here we are today, you know. So I'm going to show you through. Anyway, little bub changed all that. Little Isa, and you know, <laughs> hopefully she'll be she'll have a little sleep for a bit. So yeah, I mean we're in a luxury situation now where we can have. What I was looking for is outside outside cooking shower and toilet, something a little bit easier, you know, because if it wasn't for a caravan, I'd be going back to an Oz tent, you know, and uh, we don't really want to do that, do that. We did that for years. So this is the 15, and it's, you know, it's two ton tear. So the tear is two ton. On the scales the other day was 2080. Okay, so two ton. The GVM is three ton, and um, it's a 15 foot van. Now, when it comes down, it's the same height, about 2300, same height as, uh, as a Land Cruiser with the Bush Cruiser on top, okay? So it's got a tow really nice, not too heavy. Now I'm not going to go mad tracks in the high country, but I can, I can take it pretty much everywhere else, you know? Um, let's throw a bit of wood on this fire, stop it smoking. Yeah, so there's a lot of tracks we can still do. All, the, all my favourite spots in the Barrens and Tops will be able to do. And... Um, and the reasons I loved this particular van was the outside kitchen, I thought that was brilliant, and the pull-out bed, the main two things, and of course Sharon toilet inside. Having a Sharon toilet is a really big thing, because when you're travelling, we've just a rooftop tent, 
you got to set up a shower and you've got to set up a kitchen, a, a toilet, etc. So that's a, that's a game changer for us. So we'll start at the drawbar, do a quick lap, and show you through it. Basically, um, yeah, here's our little, you know, drawbar covers. They're great. All right, but that's the front. So it's got a DO35. Uh, that's the Australian DO35 from, I just can't remember the name, up in Brizzy. Vehicle components. Anyway, DO35, jockey wheel, chains, endo, all that on the front. Pretty standard. We put these little bags in the front here. They're our sail track canopy bags, 500 by 500, custom made. And that's for firewood, rubbish, whatever you like. But that's pretty good. It'll help protect there. It'll help deflect stones. Toolbox in here. Two, uh, four, 4.5 kilo gas bottles and more storage in there. A couple of things really handy. I'm just got them sitting here at the moment, but three things I'm going to carry all the time. The blower is great for blowing out in the caravan, blowing out things. Uh, a little vacuum, I just bought that, so very handy, something I'm missing. Don't need the rooftop tent in the truck, but really handy for the, the caravan. So a little Makita vacuum cleaner. And also I'd highly recommend, you know, a rattle gun. Impact gun's not enough, you need a rattle gun, but that, the 19, will do the, um, the, uh, the stabilizers, okay? Because the stabilizer's got to come all the way down, you've got to level it up, so that's brilliant. You can zip, zip all that and get them stabilizers just right. So that's really handy. All right, pretty standard on the front. Um, got a little spotlight there. Around this side here. All right, there's your shore power in, there's your gas hot water um, light in here which is great okay so there's a the battery compartment standard on this 15 we're going to have a uh, the drifter stockton 135 amp hour lithium it's got a five-year warranty it's got the app on your phone so i can see exactly what's going on in there uh, current coming in and out etc so there's a great battery beaches organize those five-year warranty in here you've got the hot water system which is a little trimmer in case trimmer 240 or uh, gas hot water system okay so if you've got uh, gas connected it will select gas if the gas gets turned off and runs out it'll switch over to um, it'll switch over to 240 okay but if you're off-grid down the back camping we're going to do the next weekend then you'll be running off gas that's sort of the hot water a bit of space there for a, a, a bag that's handy okay We've got the um, black water here, basically. Pretty standard. Okay, so... Let's come up here. That cover's come up. I was playing with it before. So that's... Here it is there. Right, there's your black water, okay, and you can just take that down to your dump point and dump it, right? So I've got a little bag in the front, which is the same size as that. So what some people suggested and probably will do is get a second one of these in a bag and you can just swap them over. And when you get home, maybe you can dump it or, you know, you've got a bit more capacity then. So anyway, that's your black water there. Your grey water is going to come out here, okay. We haven't used any of this yet, so it's just clean water, but that's your grey water. You've got the grey water tank there, and you'd put your, your, your hose on that to, you know, to get rid of the grey water. This is what I really liked as well, this is the bed section. So, files out very easy, okay, and see if we've got time, we'll come back around and show you that. But basically, you unclip these, this folds down, that folds up, sides come in, and... Uh, and then the top folds down. So that's this little bed area that's really easy to fold up, okay? That gives you, we'll sort of show you inside, gives you that, that walk around east to west bed. Here's your, um, we've got your, your, your pump, a couple of tanks, okay? So at the moment I've got onto, say, the water from, from the hose. So that's running everything at the moment, it's running off that. And I've got a couple of, um, you know, we've got uh, the flat, the flat out hose reels, and the flat out sullies reel as well. So you can use those. A little bit of space in there as well. Yes, yeah, so that's the little tank for the diesel heater. Come standard. Okay, uh, jerry can bag, nice um, Barrington grey on the back there on your spare wheel. 
that's on a little gas strut, files in, clothes in there. The second video we'll do later, uh, we'll run out of time tonight, but we'll do, you know, close it all up. Little ensuite pops up at the back there, okay? So that's, that's great. You've got, yeah, ensuite, you've got um, hot and cold water in the back here, so a little shower, wash your feet, you can have a shower if you like. Got a light in there. So that's a great little area there, okay? And, you know, if you had a shower in there, of course, you wouldn't have to worry about the grey water. But that's that little ensuite. Here's a kitchen, okay? And uh, so you've got a three burner gas uh, stove here. You've got your sink here. Okay, there's your hot water. That'll be running. And um, plenty of space in here as well. You've got cupboards that go right through here. So those three cupboards go right through into the bedroom area. You've got a nice little pantry there. And you've got a bit of space underneath here as well. All right, so you've got a drawer and you've also got some uh, a little bit extra bench space if you wanted there. Also storage in through here. Okay, there's plenty of storage around there for other things as well. Okay, so yeah, that's the kitchen area. I mean, in the day, this is where you want to be cooking is outside. I know people have got a brand new caravan, $150,000 plus, and no cooking area outside at all, but you know, you, you don't really want to be cooking inside a brand new beautiful caravan, you know. So you want to be cooking outside. A lot of vans don't have anything outside. So that's what I really attracted the me to this. We're outside cookers anyway. We're going to be cooking on charcoal. We've got the fire pit. We want to be out here. We don't want to be cooking anything inside. And rather than try and cram a useless little kitchen inside a 15 foot van, they've just done it outside. I think that's brilliant. The other big advantage too, which I really love, is if you're traveling, the, the best thing I, I loved about the, the canopy on the back of the 79 over when we had the 76 is when you pull up for lunch you can just on the 79 lift the canopy door up you can cook your lunch breakfast whatever it could be raining could be hot sun you got instantly a bit of coverage and you got the same thing here with this this is a huge basically canopy door okay and look at that all right so that'll just go down so if you want to cook some lunch just pop that up you don't need the awning here all right and you've already got a little bit of coverage if it's raining you can stand under here and be sheltered so i love that about this outside kitchen okay your awning's pretty standard wind it out peg it down little shelf there the windows this is our let's turn that on there we go this is our curved spreader bar it's brilliant and uh, I'd never used them before, but what that does, it stops a bit of flapping for sure, okay, because that's a curved spreader. So it stops flapping 100%. It does help the water run off as well and stop pooling. And then you've got the orange and white light. So 100% the, the orange works great, stops the bugs, stops the, the moths and the beetles. And you've got light out here exactly where you want it down here as well. So these are great. Very simple. You put a little roof rail on there, drill a hole here, and that goes in. So that's great. And we'll leave that on tonight. Uh, table so this table all right just folds up and it goes in this area here so stove folds down this table fits in this area here we've got a nice boot liner bag all right you've seen these tables before that's made Beachy made that in our drawers factory fits perfectly in there and you can stack all stuff on top of it too but it'll also help protect the stove and the sink all right so you can fold this out both legs and put that anywhere you like but it just seems to work really good. All right, like this, on the table, like that, look at that. And I've got our sink, a little tub there, lots of bench space. By putting it over the tire, you can still use that space. You're not having to walk too far around. So I, I love that little table, nice and solid. And that's there. Um, door's pretty standard. You can split the door, all right, for screen and um, the fridge is up here we're putting our our 62 litre stock and fridge in there All right pulls out you can clip that onto there like that and then you've got your fridge there so that works really good there's a light for your fridge in that compartment you've also got a little fan here for if you're traveling you want to you can uh, suck that help a bit of airflow and also help pressurize it all right underneath 
we won't crawl under there now, but it's uh, independent suspension, 12 inch electric brakes, and uh, twin shocks. The shocks are the same as the pedders, so you can change them out if you need to. I'm gonna put, I've already taken this to the mechanic, taken the bearings out, had a look at them. They're pretty good bearings, but I've put some Japanese bearings in there. And also we're gonna have some really good quality bushes. Okay, so the only thing really you can go wrong underneath there is your bearings or your bushes. And, and, and unless they're really good, high quality, you're gonna have problems there. So we're gonna either install them for you or give them to you when you buy. So we'll include proper bushes, good quality ones. Because the bushes go and the bushes on import trailers do tend to wear very quickly. And then your wheels going like this cause problems bearings you know self-explanatory and the shocks uh, they'll fit padded so they're pretty easy to replace if you need to replace the shocks but you've got yeah, two water tanks a grey water tank underneath and let's have a look inside so I've done some little nice mats here uh, that's a little boot, uh, marine carpet mat with some binding we just make to sit in there this is a little bathroom mat fits good there doesn't slide all right, come in here, Toddy. Um, the bed, the mattress has come sort of white and they're easy to get dirty, especially with people looking at it all the time and jumping on there. So we've made some really nice up in canvas. Um, you know, that's our mattress covers, custom mattress covers. So that's really nice. You can wash those and it just looks a lot better. So there's a bunk up there. That's how that works. All right, you can lift that up and you can sit in here. So you've got sort of a, sort of a three berth area to sit or three four people you can sit here no problems lean up against the wall you can sit over here no problems and that table of course moves around all over the place so yeah that's it there. so nice little table the table goes up and down you can actually put the table into this area here and then there's a, a cushion you could make this sort of a one and a half bed or a large double or you know so you can sleep in here quite a big area underneath here this this section here is totally empty you could put a little generator in there you know they could you lift out and use but a lot of storage inside there this is a battery compartment this is a fridge compartment but you do also have storage under this one here okay so that's a fair bit of storage in there fuses power points you got shore power and inverter power separate you've got fans all over the place which is nice okay you've got sig plugs all over the place which is nice and you've got lights all over the place which is nice too Okay, so just for little lights, fans, sick plugs. The windows, uh, let's have a look at this one here, Tilly. Pretty standard can, uh, carry window. All right, you can open those, close them up. Okay, they will stay open like that. And then you've got, that's a magnet, you can have them closed like that or open. So that's pretty good. All right, all the windows, one, two, three, and four windows are all like that. Uh, this is your selection for your hot water, so you can have 60 degrees or 70 degrees for your little hot water system, which is here. Shower. Alright, so that's it there. Alright, we've got a little hook up there, it's real handy, so you can have your shower sitting up there. Got your light, you got your fan. This fan is great, it'll, it'll actually suck air in or blow air out, so you've got the option there. You've got windows all around as well. Okay, and um, so nice ventilation inside the toilet, just a normal chemical toilet, okay, the electric flush, and you've got your hole there, so open that up, electric flush, um, you can hear Z, there's a great little thing for a toilet paper, little stock and product, that's good, we've made a little mesh, that's just Velcro on, okay, so the girls in canvas made that up for your shampoo and bits and things, so they can go in there, all waterproof, we, that we can in, include those little tower rail so great little tower shower toilet setup i think the shower and toilet together is a go you don't need a separate shower and toilet and i think it's a big advantage to have it like that because then you can you can sit on the toilet if you need to to wash and everything same here's a little rear seat organizer modified with velcro stuck on there you can put these anywhere it's great so you got all your remote controls radio tv air conditioner standard with an air conditioner right so bang there's your echo there's your diesel heater Right, so all in there, right? And that's your little uh, remote for the actuator. Now, when you when you want to pop this up, all you do is there's four latches on around the outside, so you latch those up or unlatch them. Then you can press a button. This will come up. Okay, that's all you have to do. There's a limit switch on the top. 
okay, in this, and there's a limit switch when it hits down. So all you have to do is press the button up and press the button down. And you can also do that manually by this button here, okay? So if I wanted to close it up now, all I do is turn this on and press down, that's it. This will come down and um, then I'll latch it up. So very simple. All right, now turn the echo off. Yeah, little um, stock and bin box works pretty good there as well. This is where the air conditioner comes out here, so you can turn those around. Uh, this is the control for the diesel heater, again standard. And here's the inverter, so drift stock and inverter goes there. We'll have a look at <coughs> this while we're here. We've got the pump. We've got the pump turned off at the moment because we're on shore water, the water from the tap. Audio, SIG sockets, LEDs, so that's all your lights, your fridge, you can tie the fridge, power supply. This is for electric awning, which if you wanted to have an electric awning, you can. Uh, it's a light on the front and your reverse camera. It comes also standard with the reverse camera. So that's built in. You can see, I haven't used it yet, but um, it comes with that. So pretty much from what I understand, you just plug that into your dash and that runs from a little wire. It's, there's no cable, it's um, Wi-Fi type thing. And that's reverse camera built in um, at the back there, so it comes with that standard. So yeah, air conditioning, diesel heater, reverse camera, standard inclusions. <clears throat> There's your fuses, your battery, water tank, two water tanks, and your grey water tank there, and your main kill switch. In here, there is a sink, okay, so you can do clean teeth inside, wash your face in the morning, that's nice there. Um, there was space, TV, radio, don't really need those. Uh, I'll probably pull them out later, you know, but it comes with that. Here's a little cupboard here, which is uh, Stockton 50 amp solar controller, which is there. Okay, and so that's from the roof solar. There's 400 watts of solar on the roof coming into the Stockton solar controller. We've installed that. And there's also another solar input uh, the front there. So you could use, we'll use a Stockton 200 watt blanket and that would um, that will go through the DCD so we utilize the solar on the DC DC. You can see here mattress covers too we've made them up the girls have made them up fitted covers really nice and we can do those underneath the bed in this area okay we've got um, that's the air conditioning unit okay under there this is the diesel diesel heater area here which comes out this vent here that's our battery charge you can hear that running at the moment so that's on the battery charges little fans on we've got our uh, 1200 watt inverter that's a stockton inverter which the screen is here okay so standard on this one will have a 1200 watt inverter if you wanted to upgrade to a 200 amp hour battery and a two and a half thousand watt inverter we can do that no problems um, that's an easy upgrade I would normally do that on this van for sure, and then I can have coffee. But I've already got that set up on my truck. I've already got two and a half thousand watt inverter on my truck. I've already got two amp hour battery in the truck that a lot of people have, so I don't really need to double up. If I didn't have that on vehicle, I'd be going two hundred amp hour, hundred percent. Stockton DC DC in there. Let's have a look in there, Tony. So you've got a Stockton DC forty amp DC DC. Uh, we put this main fuse in, we've done a bit of that electrics, done it up, better cables, bigger cups. So we've done the majority of the major appliance uh, electrical, as you can see. And um, there's a little bit of storage still in there, so I've made up a nice you know, Barrington milk crate bag, which will fit in there nicely. Bit of storage, uh, a little overnight bag will fit in there too, if you wanted to do that. So again, a bit of storage there. And that's under the bed. Right, so that's the thickness of the mattress. What is that? 160 mil, nice foam mattress. There's a lot of things you can do. You're not constrained by the height, so you could add a, a, a topper or an eggshell topper, whatever you like. But that's it, look at that. Nice window at the back here, okay. You've got um, headroom there. And what I really like about it, you can walk around, basically walk around this side, okay? Um, you can sit in here if you want to. Look at that. Funny head to hide here, sit in here if you wanted to. You got your, you can have your window open, and, you know, plenty of ventilation. You've got fans right here, okay? 
you wanted the fans, you got lights, you got power, there's plugs here. Okay, so I've got a couple of um, phone sockets there. The other thing it's got as well is there's a power point here, so there's short power and inverter power right here. You don't have to have a look, but there's, yeah, power points there. You see that, Tony? Right, so I think that's for, some people would have a breathing machine, it's not uncommon. Um, but there is, yeah, short power and inverter power next to the bed there if you do need it. A uh, little bub should be basically sleeping here. Right, right there. You know, nice little safe area there for her. I'll make up a little swag and super comfy, you know. Cupboards, so we've got a lot of storage in here. Look at that. Okay, so two cupboards like this. And these bags, I'm going to, you know, these are a great, uh, New Stockton half height bags, full height draw bags, and they work just, you know, if you get, say, three or four of each of those two, they fit in a lot of things. They fit there vertically, fit there this way. Um, and also, these are our half, half, stocking half bags. So, just the perfect size, really. You know, two of them in there. Um, so, yeah, it's a good idea to get some of those. All those little extra things that we're doing, I'll, I'll have them all listed separately. So, the, the caravan itself, basically what you see with, um, you know, diesel heater, the air conditioner, all that standard, the, the, the power supply like I've shown you, all that will be standard, okay? But the extra things are a little like this, you've got some marine carpet up here, you've got marine carpet up here, okay, on the step, the drawer bags, that sort of thing. Uh, the little um, things here, the storage, those sort of things will be an extra, but we can just make a big list, anything you want to know is or all of it, tick it off and we can sort that out. Weekend of bag fix really good, okay. This is great, I love that area up there. So you can have plenty of storage up there. You've got, of course, the big windows too. Plenty of ventilation up here. And I've got a little video too before. I can maybe put this at the end, but the other day we had a massive storm, almost a flood, 60 mils of rain in about 20 minutes. We had rain coming in sideways, smashing the side of the house. Huge storm, it was unreal. Um, trees blowing over. The whole backyard was just flooded. Anyway, so I was filming it, and I, after the rain stopped, I filmed the backyard, come in here, looked around, not a drop of water. That's really important, especially the pop top. I can show you the video, I'll put it at the end. Not a drop of water inside, which is great. That's really important. More cupboards in here. A lot of space in there. It's a big cupboard there. All right, this, there you've got another space here. This bag's here. We're making, it's got clear front and back. Okay, so it'll go right through. At the moment, I've got some saucepans in there, All right, but we can do those sort of bags. So I've got saucepans in here. That's our Stockton saucepan kit. All right, these fry pans, everything. That's all you need, and that'll fit in there. I can access that from the kitchen, which is great. In here, I've got heaps of um, DOD, you know, plates and bowls, and don't even want all this DOD stuff. So I've got all that, and you can access all that from the kitchen. You know. And another one here. All right, so that's your little, again, one of our half height draw bags. Fits in there perfect. So that's really good. And, you know, heaps of cupboards. Look at that, cupboard space everywhere. Look at that. That works good there for those. So lots of storage inside. Um, east, west bed, shower and toilet, outside kitchen. I don't know what more you'd need. And um, does that cover everything inside? Your lights, ah, these plugs here. So you can basically, if you want to quickly switch things off, that's the light to the shower outside, lights for your battery compartment, your outside lights, passenger side, driver's side, uh, your fridge lights, battery compartment, bathroom there, and lights here. There, okay. So you can sort of override that. If you want to turn, turn everything off real quick, you can just hit that. Um, bathroom as well, see that? So you've got a, got a second switch there. Leave that all the time. Or you can also LED turn it off, back on, and then you'll have to turn it on here. Okay, so nice and easy to turn it off. All right, that's it really. Um, yeah, so here we go. We'll be back camping next weekend. We're gonna next weekend we're gonna camp down here in the back block. 
we won't have you know the hose from the house we won't have the power so we're going to camp just down there really nice down there and then the weekend after that we're going to lightning ridge bit of a test out and that's it we're back in business so um first camp trip for bub should be a month old what do you think darren is this um a bit of an upgrade or what pretty yeah, good let's see let's see eh so um anyway that's it luke the drifter and caravan We've done a lot to this van ourselves, as you can see, we've branded it, we've put our brand on it, we've took the tables, the bags, we've done underneath, we've done all the electrical, we've gone over it with a fine tooth comb, we've fixed a lot of little things up that we just like, you know, things like this, just a strap here to hold that, and all little things that just make the difference, you know, we've been doing, designing the dots for a long time, we made a lot of dots, and we're constantly improving and designing and making things just work. You want everything just to work just right, you know, and um, so that's basically what we're doing with the van, okay? Uh, we don't build the van ourselves, it's an imported van. We're not the importer, we're basically a dealer for this van. The van is a Eureka, okay, so they come in into Melbourne. We're just a dealer for this van, but, you know, really love this one myself. Wanted to sort of drifterize it, if you could say it that way, and we've become a dealer for, you know, WA, Brisbane, New South Wales, and everything. So if you want one of these, They'll be on the website. You can buy them from us, uh, just like you've seen here. And um, if you want to come and have a look anytime we're in Gloucester, the, the van's right in the backyard. Send me an email if you want to make an appointment. You can come here and have a look right here if you like. But we will have one in Newcastle, our showroom. The next one's going to go to Illawarra. Uh, I had one bloke here this morning, our first customer's chauffeur, and he bought one, you know, so that's pretty good. So he'll get, he'll get one of them. We've got three more coming, one of them's gone. One of the other ones will go to Illawarra. The other one will go to Brisbane. Then we'll have one in Coffs Harbour. So as we sort of go, we'll, we'll get a few more around the place, but Newcastle is the main hub. This is in Gloucester. You're welcome to come here and have a look. If you make an appointment, happy to show you through, uh, except on the weekend, because we'll be out using it. Anyway, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, see what you reckon. Thanks guys. Oh, I just had the storm from hell. It's had 60 mils of rain in 20 minutes. I had to get up the roof and put the ridge cap. I've left some screws out of the ridge cap. Up the roof. But look how much rain we got. It's about to come in again, I think. But you can see, oh, that was driving rain. Everything's got wet. Anyway, horses were good. I just had a look inside the van. Because we got the top up like that. Here was driving rain. And that's a quick look. Not, not the drop. Bed's all dry. So that's pretty good. Not a drop of rain, not a drop of water inside. That was 60 mils. Oh my goodness, in about 15 minutes. So, she's all dry inside here, a little popped up.